Uh, we are the world leader of mobile application security. Uh, what does that mean to you? It means a lot of the apps that you're seeing here, um, some of those are using our technology, some of those are not. We're here to educate the group a little bit about the need for mobile application security. So ArcSan is the leader in this space because we are protecting over 300 million devices actively. Some of those are actually apps that are running in your, on your smartphone, on your tablet. They might be a banking app, they might be a digital media application, but we're really here to focus on mobile application security. We're really living through a mobile revolution right now. And what that means is PCs are effectively ending up in your pocket, and that's really just the first phase of the functionality that we're about to see. Uh, we're seeing the ability to not only do everything that we need to do day to day on the phone, but we're also seeing the ability to now control certain aspects of our life that we probably never thought were fathomable, like controlling appliances or devices in the house. What's really lagging is security. And why is that the case? Well, generally speaking, at least from my industry experience, that's always the case. Security is always behind the curve because there's a push to get feature functionality out to the market. And so what we're here to talk about today isn't your Angry Birds application. It's really around your mobile banking application and why the technology that we represent and the innovation that we're launching here uh, around the health checks of financial applications is critical for this particular space. As far as our, our demonstration here, we're gonna focus on um, an actual use case that shows you a sample mobile banking application and a drive-by attack on that application. And so let's switch over to that and talk a little bit about what we've got here. We've got a demonstration banking application running an iDevice. But note, this could be any application such as the ones that you use day in and day out. The iDevice uh, screen is shown live here, as is a management console screen on the right side. So what Winston here is going to do is he's going to execute a transaction. So what he's doing here is he's submitting a payment for uh, a very nice lunch that we had earlier today. And as he does that, he then checks the balance. And as he checks the balance, the application itself has visibility to what's happening on the device. So in this particular case, the application is highlighting to the management console that, hey, you're running on a jailbroken device. And that's providing visibility to the enterprise that there's something not so right here on this device that I'm running on. Why is jailbroken uh, such an important aspect of visibility for the enterprise to have? A lot of it has to do with the system and the compromising of the system that's taking place. And so that's sort of the first check that typically takes place. Following that, he's going to launch a uh, uh, second application. So now this is just another app that's running on your phone, but this application is actually malicious. And once this application is actually launched, you will start to see how this particular application, which is a accelerometer application, actually starts to control the banking application in itself. So now what you're gonna see here is Winston logging in, but the screen on the right side at the bottom is actually the hacker's server screen. So he's able to now capture Winston's password. So as he logs into the banking app, that password is now captured because the accelerometer app is basically working to capture that information. Now as he submits another payment, you'll see that it will obviously make the payment here, but it will also siphon off funds. So in this particular case, uh, our hacker is a crook, and in addition to the $5 that Winston meant to transfer, an additional $50 has been transferred all because of that second application and the way that second application is basically controlling and watching that primary banking application. And so these are just some of the techniques that uh, uh, can happen with your mobile applications. Uh, we're highlighting some of the, the specific risks that are relevant uh, as it relates to the environment in which your application runs today, especially on the mobile device. But there's a lot more that can obviously occur but we're limited to 420 seconds, so we, we'll skip a lot of those details. Um, so how can your business really help to solve these problems? So that's really, let's talk about that for a little bit. So the solutions that ArcSAM provides are focused around instrumentation of your application. So when you build your application, you design it, you, you code it, you compile it, you link it, well effectively there's a step that's not gonna be necessary where you actually protect that application you protect certain aspects of that application that are deemed critical, 
It could be around the transactional information. It could be login. It could be occasionally checking for uh, jailbreak and those kinds of things. And why is this important? It's becoming more and more common for mobile applications to have the kind of functionality that's critical for all of us to consume five, six, seven times a day as we check our transactions or we execute a transaction. And so now we're seeing uh, regulatory bodies start to speak to this kind of threat landscape and the need for this type of security built into your mobile applications, uh, whether you're, you're targeting mobile payments, mobile banking transactions, life insurance, uh, investment banking, retail banking, whatever the case might be. Recently, OWASP, which is an um, a, a organization that focuses on software security, recently recognized this threat landscape as something that's critical and identified it in their mobile top 10. So what does that mean to you? As you're building your mobile applications, you should be looking to understand what the threat landscape looks like, what your attack surface now is, because it is very different than the web application that you built years ago. And so when you do that, you, you start to account for these specific risks of which the lack of binary protection or the lack of code protection is specifically called out in those, uh, uh, in those threats. So to conclude, uh, we all must extend our computing enterprise. We must extend our interfaces to meet the needs of the consumers. That's evident, that's happening, but what needs to happen in conjunction with that is the ability to have these applications not only provide the feature functionality that customers are looking for, but also to have the security behind the scenes so our data is safe, your credentials are safe, and of course, uh, the experience is a good one for both parties involved. So with that, we'll say thank you, and we have a booth right outside.